Hello Lana, welcome to Equity Investment Analysis. My name is Emlyn James Gwiri. I'll be taking you through residual income and valuation, which is the fourth valuation uh, model. And we will be having two lessons. This is lesson one. And in this lesson, we will look at three questions. We will firstly look at November 2016, question 2C. Then we look at November 2016, question 5D. And finally, we look at May 2016, question 2C. So to start off, we begin by looking at November 2016, question 2C. It reads as follows. Explain four strengths of residual income valuation model that is used in determining the value of shares. Part two of the question says, the following information relates to Fuji Limited, a company quoted on the ISDAC stock exchange. You have been given information there, the current book value uh, per share, the current market price per share, the expected long-term return on equity, and the expected growth rate per year. As well, you have been told to assume that the cost of equity is 9%. Required, the intrinsic value of the company's share using residual income model. So in trying to answer part one um, of C, um, of question 2C, we will be able to explain the four strengths of residual income model in use determining the value of shares. So I'll start over here. I'll be able to briefly just list them as I be able to, as I explain them, and then we can be able to try and understand and comprehend, um, um, you know, the strengths or the benefits of investing of using residual income valuation. So we have November 2016, question 2C, question 2C, yes. But now there is part one, which is saying explain four strengths of residual income valuation model. Strengths of residual income model. Rather, valuation model. Because it's a valuation tool, the fourth valuation tool. Valuation model. So we start by saying, it's a subtopic like that, the first strength is that residual income uses accounting data which is easily obtainable. So residual income model uses accounting data which is easily obtainable. You can be able to access accounting data um, via the internet. Number two, we are seeing this residual income model may be applicable or is applicable for non-dividend paying firms. So, residual income model, model is applicable for non-dividend paying farms. But just paying farms. Thirdly, I can come on this other side. Three. The residual income model uses um, accounting data as opposed to um, data that is um, easily um, manipulable, which can be manipulated um, 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 very easily. So we are saying um, that RI or residual income model uses accounting data. which 
um, may be difficult to adjust or manipulate. To manipulate. So accounting data um, tends to be not easily manipulable. Number four, because you've been asked for the strengths of residual income, we can say that residual income, income is easy to understand. and comprehend within the investment community. Community. So that answers part one of November 2016, question 2C. It's asking um, the strengths. So four strengths have been listed, um, have been explained over here. Part two of the question is saying, or is asking, the following information relates to Fuji Limited, a company quoted on the ice duck stock exchange. You have the current book value per share, the current market price per share, the expected long-term um, return on equity. You have the expected growth rate per year and assume that the cost of equity is 9%, required the intrinsic value of the company using residual income model. So, November 2016, question 2C, part 2. There. So that information requires us to use the residual income model. What is the formula for calculating the value of a share using residual income model? So we have V0 is given as um, um, B0 plus ROE minus R times B um b not over r minus g like that so this is the formula that is used to determine uh, the value of a share where where v not intrinsic value b not is book value of equity then we have ROE we are saying is return on equity on equity yeah. and then R is required return or cost of equity cost of equity there yeah. and G is the growth rate G is the growth rate. That. So we try and identify if all of the inputs have been given to us there. I can see that we have the current book value per share. So B0 is 12.9. Right. Then we have um, the expected. Uh, the long term return on equity so roe how much do we have um, the roe is 10% what else do we have the required return do we have the cost of equity r we are saying is 9% and then do we have the growth rate expected uh, return do we have the growth rate we don't have any growth rate there so in this case we see if this formula, um, maybe a, there's another formula for residual income. You can see the current market price, the current book value per share, long term return on equity, long term growth rate. Yes, I can see it, it's there, it's given to us. So, G, we have 8%. That slotting all of these values into the equation or the, into the equation rather. So, we have V0 is equals to B0 and um, plus ROE minus R. M times B naught over R minus G. So I can go on the other side and slot in the values there. Very quickly. Sorry, apologies. Slot in the values. 
So we have V0, therefore, is given as the B0. We have the B0 of 12.9. 12.9. Then we add. Now, the ROE given to us is 10%. We can convert it into a decimal 0.1 minus. And the required return given to us is 9%. 0.09. Like that. Then you multiply by the beginning book value. The beginning book value is 12.9 divided by required return is 9%, 0.09 minus growth rate given to us is 8%, 0.08. So how much is our value per share? 12.9. So we have, we can be able to state here that we have 12.9 Plus, I can be able to compute this value. Then you just add 12.9. So we have 0.1 minus 0 0.09 times 12.9. We have 0 0.129. So we have 0 0.129 divided by 0 0.09 minus 0 0.08. That looks like 0 0.01. So we have, um, this is 0 0.01, so we have 12.9 plus how much? So 0 0.129, 0 0.129 divided by 0 0.01. We have 12.9, so we have 12.9 there. So 12.9 times 2, that times 2, we have 25.8. So Kenya shillings... Kenya shillings, 25.8. That is the intrinsic value or the value of the share using residual income. Now, we can be able to move on to look at the next question, which is November 2016, question 5D. What does it say? It reads as follows. Rehema Mwatate. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to get yourself a copy of our professionally prepared study text and revision partners. Visit our shop along Tomboya Street, Pioneer House, 3rd floor, opposite fire station.